everybody, welcome back. And I'm Wendy, the cellist. And today we're going to talk about how to make a good sound. And you guys have requested it and I thought I would just share some of my thoughts. Now, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe right now. And also hit that little bell button so that you'll be always notified of new videos. Let's get into it. How do you make a good sound? I feel like cello playing is one of those things where there's no like exact rules because every cello is different and everybody's body is different and you have to really find your own way of how to make a good sound and what works for you and it really I feel like is there are no hard rules so keep that in mind as I'm sharing with you I can only share with you my experience um, I have been kind of obsessed with uh, sound making or making good sound because the cello is really beautiful. I'm a small person, so it has always been a challenge for me, even when I was very little, in terms of how to produce sound. Let's talk about the bow first. Now, I feel like sound production really has a lot to do with your bow and a combination of your weight, your body weight, right? And mostly pressure is like from your body that's most ideal. You don't want to put extra stress pressure that you like kind of like force and then also bow speed. So another thing is the position of your bow. It's really kind of a game. You kind of just have to experiment with those three different combinations and find something that really works. Okay, so let's talk about pressure. So for me, um, I like to just use as much of my body weight as possible. So I want to just really be relaxed. Now the thing about this is that when people think of being relaxed, it's like then, you know, everything just kind of collapses here. If you're too relaxed, right, you can't really make a sound. So you need to have a firm firmness in your hand, but not tightness and not tension. So that's a really the key to know the difference between tension and firmness is firmness so you're holding the bow and nothing collapses here everything is firm looks natural i talked about the bow uh the bow grip in another video i'll link it up right there or below down in the description but everything should be like very natural but firm but without being tense or collapsed my body weight goes down here if it's collapsed it doesn't there's no sound but if there's a structure to your hand like this then the weight goes from here and all the way actually all the way in the back and it goes all the way down here and then the string will have all the weight of your natural body and then you pull that's it now how much do you pull so obviously if you're pressing like this to try to be louder then it's not going to get louder you just want to have a good sound Vibration. You, you want to feel that vibration. Ideally, for me, I know 
that I have a great sound and that the cello is the most resonant is I actually feel like buzzing in my fingers. So that means I'm not pushing too hard. I know that I have enough weight on the bow and firmness and uh, but not too much but just enough and then it's at the right spot right here and I am having the right bow speed those combinations and I feel this buzzing the vibration from string that's when I know the strength the most vibrating creating the most resonance that's when I know that I have a really good sound and then when you add the vibrato mwah, then it's golden for example I tried to find the sound like I literally just may be using one note and find that sound. So let's say the beginning of Dvorak Concerto, right? until I find that right exact feeling in my body. Then I let the sound roll and add some vibrato. It's really not like that. It's really, I can tell you that it's those combination of things and then experimenting a lot, playing around and listening and also thinking about that sound that you want. And each of us has a unique sound anyway. So you want to imagine that beautiful sound and then you just basically ask your body to find a way to produce that sound you have in your head. When I was at the Marble Music Festival, some of you may know of this very prestigious festival, and back then, uh, David Sawyer from the Granary String Quartet was there. And he had the most gorgeous cello sound ever. If you listen to any of the Granary String Quartet recordings, you will hear this beautiful, resonant, round, and bassy and gorgeous cello sound that's truly a cello sound now he was a pretty big man and he had a big cello too i remember but i remember going up to him and asking him mr sawyer what do you do like what do you do to create such a beautiful sound what he said to me made such a difference in my life for the rest of my life as a cellist as a musician and as a human being because that was so telling he was like well you just have to hear the sound in your head first. That was what he said. Hear the sound in your head first and then basically let your body guide you and keep messing around and keep experimenting until you find that sound that matches the sound in your head. This is really deep because if you think about it, that's true about anything else in life. Whatever you desire and want to do, you uh, or goals that you may have in life you know you kind of imagine the outcome the end goal the end sound in this case you imagine it and then you use your body and you experiment until you find that sound and um, it takes a lifetime sometimes for me i feel like literally it has taken me a lifetime I can say that I'm happy with my sound right now, but sometimes I still struggle, to be honest. That's why I talked about warm-up in the last video, why that is so important, my practice routine, because you want to use that opportunity to figure out your sound and so that your body can match what you have in your head. So just keep playing around. Like I said, again, to sum up, bow speed, pressure, and the position and then adding vibrato and feeling it and hearing it. That's it.
don't forget to subscribe and like this video share with your friends and leave me a comment and come back and watch more videos i will link all the videos up there and down below now of course if you want to support my work you can become a patron on patreon you can pay just like one dollar or two dollars three if you want to support me more i would so appreciate it so thank you thank you thank you and I look forward to seeing you next time. And check out my official album, Passion, which is totally free. And I will put it right here and links down below. Thanks. Bye.